Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of the Long Dark in our Hunted Challenge series. Um, so we're dealing with a bear that I'm pretty sure is right down at the base of the... Um... Yep, he's right down there. Hi, bear. Um, I did find out. I, I did some Googling. I, I have not Googled, like where to find additional flares in this challenge, or if that's even a thing, because I didn't want to cheat. But something that is kind of independent of surviving in this challenge that just applies to how you deal with bears is you can, and I've, I've seen this in other Let's Plays, but it's not something I've really paid close attention to because I, I don't generally make plans to interact with bears. But um, you can brandish torches. And I did pick up a torch. I, I saw a torch and very purposefully picked it up in the previous episode because as long as the bear has not started a charge you can swing this thing around and then hopefully the bear will react by running so obviously i don't have the flame lit just yet because i want to give it some time but let's well I'll tell you what let's let's get all the way down to the bottom what i want to see what i want to see about here we're down we have no flares left in the distress pistol that's part of our problem What I want to see is if I can shake this thing around while I'm here. Okay, I need to stop being so timid. Either the bear's going to get me or it's not. All right, so um, let's go ahead and do this. Now, brandish is like that. All right, we don't have a ton of time on this torch, so here we go. And see if this works. There's a deer there. That indicates to me that the bear might not be nearby. That could give us an opportunity to get away. Let's let's put this away then. No, 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 come back. Extinguish. That's what I want to do. I'm only going to light the torch if I feel like I need it. Oh, this spot right here is where I ran into a bear for the first time in Against All Odds Season 1. This is the exact spot, actually. I can still hear the bear. I don't know if you can. I definitely can. We might be about to witness a magic teleportation of the bear, because th we know the bear is definitely up on the higher ground right now, but the game has to keep the the tension high, you know? So it's not necessarily going to... I don't think I'm going to go down into the zone here. I'm going to keep pressing towards Mystery Lake. I think that's the sensible thing to do. But yeah, I, I don't... Um... Alright, there's some painkillers. I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but we know the bear is up in the higher area of the zone right now, so maybe we should just do what we can to. Can Actually, speaking of which, I have some extra. I have some extra gear on me. I don't. Know, I don't know why I say speaking of which. I didn't say anything related to gear, but um, yeah, we can drop that. We can drop this. The ski gloves are better than the ones we're wearing, so that's fine. I'll drop those too. Uh, okay. Uh, what else do I need to do? I guess I'm going to go ahead and eat these pinnacle peaches because we need to get rid of any excess weight. Encumbrance is a problem in two ways. It'll slow me down in increments. At that amount, it, it's barely noticeable. But also, it will um, tire me out just a little bit faster by being encumbered. So we need to make sure that doesn't continue to be a factor. All right, nine hours daylight left. We've got a torch. We've got a flare gun. Um, hey, there's some more pinnacle peaches. Perfect. And now we're encumbered again because we picked up pinnacle peaches. Uh, is there anything else I can drop? What am I carrying weight wise? Yeah. Okay. I can drop a few sticks. There we go. Problem solved. All right. 
I don't quite know the way to Mystery Lake. Honestly. There's the bear. I'm just going to run this way. Sprinting a bunch in the previous... Uh stretch didn't do much to my energy, so I am not afraid of running full tilt to put some distance between me and this animal. Not worried about it. Alright, the bear does not appear to be behind me, but those could be famous last words, so I'll believe it when I see it. I say I don't know the way to Mystery Lake. I know how to get to Mystery Lake, but as far as like finding my way from the entrance from Pleasant Valley to the spot where you get can get into Mystery Lake, that's where I feel a bit more of a a disconnect. I just I, I'm not quite sure I know the way, but we'll see. Oh, okay. All right, so this is the way up to Pleasant Valley. I'm going to stop in here real quick. And then maybe we can sneak down between those rocks over there. Because I feel like the way to Mystery Lake is off in that direction. Alright, let's, uh, let's look around and see. I'm, I'm still looking. I'm hoping to find a better pair of mm. shoes. Anything to keep me warmer for longer. Anything. And who knows, maybe I'm focusing too much on those things and not on staying moving, but this is it's just the way I'm playing it, so... That's... <laughs> is it too much of a dick move if I say you're just going to have to deal? <laughs> is that is that too rude of me? <laughs> uh, this, but that's, that's kind of how I feel, like... Because I do definitely know that this is intense, and so there's this... Believe me, I feel the, the impetus. I, I can feel the motivation to keep moving as well. Uh, but, okay, we're actually starting to get tired. So that's that's good reason to maybe chill for a bit. Maybe if we get some sleep here. We've got four hours daylight left. Let's sleep for... Or, no, I'm sorry. We have nine hours daylight left. We had, we now, we had eight when we started sleeping. Oh, man. Weather. So now we have to stay put. Well, at least in this situation, that gives us an excuse to use up some of our burden by eating and drinking. Okay, well, now we have to sleep for two more hours now that a blizzard has come in. Again, those of you wishing for blizzards, this is what you get. Thanks, appreciate it. <laughs> and still crappy weather. All right, uh, let's go ahead and eat a can of Pinnacle Peaches because calories and water as you've seen many times now, and it also gets rid of that pound in a tenth, which is quite useful. Uh, okay, good, I can sleep for an hour. Okay, good. Uh, well, two hours daylight left. That's not enough time to find my way. Well, it could be. You know what? I'm gonna go for it because uh, there's another spot where I can take a break. There's another hut very much like the one we're in right now. Okay, I don't know where the bear is. Don't see him. I'm going to sneak down here. And try and hug the, the, the rock wall a little bit. can't tell if this is where I need to be or not. And it's kind of nerve-wracking.
Yes, actually it is. I think this is it. Okay. I need to go up this direction. Oh, this is looking promising. Okay. Now, if I could just not run into the bear between here and leaving the zone, or at least getting to the top of the zone near the Mystery Lake transition zone, then I will be in good shape. So we got one hour of daylight left, but again, we're going to find our way pretty quickly. Please don't be in front of me. Please don't be in front of me. Please don't be in front of me. All right, we're definitely heading the right way. I can tell that. I can tell you that unequivocally. I'm just concerned about the bear. <laughs> you guys thought I was freaked out about bears in Against All Odds Season 2, because I was. I was irrationally freaked out about bears the entire time. Now I'm super freaked out. One hour daylight left, but again, we're... Hey, star's coming out. That's nice. How much would it suck if the bear came over this ridge at me right now? Actually, let me not give the game ideas. Because it wouldn't be the first time I, like, made a humorous suggestion in commentary, and then that thing immediately proceeded to happen. <laughs> okay. We're going to stop in here real quick because, again, I remain hopeful that if I... <laughs> I remain hopeful that if I remain stubborn, <laughs> uh, I will find some shoes laying somewhere. It's not often that you find shoes in this setting, but we're going we're gonna to keep trying here. At least there's a grape soda. Two grape sodas. In fact, don't need an insulated vest at all. Ah, there's another flare. Well, no shoes yet. Let's keep moving. This is not the hut I was talking about. There's one actually at the very top of this little stretch. I think I hear the bear, and I'm not taking any chances. Okay, good. No, I keep doing that by accident. Give me the torch. I didn't want to do that either. Apparently, I do not know how to use torches. Alright, let's head up here. We are almost... Wow, holy crap. Well, we were not in uh, Coastal Highway very long. I'm running uphill. This is incredibly smart. And by smart, I mean not. But we're almost to the spot where we can rest. Actually, wait. Let me keep... Let me keep this out, just in case the bear happens to be up here to say hello to us. Which I didn't think it would be, but... Say I hate being cold. <laughs> you do. Oh. Alright, so here's the train loading. This is the hut that I was talking about. Ah, oh, I keep doing that. I'm hitting H to, to holster, which, which would put any gun or item away, but it makes the torch drop. Any gun or lighting item, like a torch. All right, here what we're gonna do. I'm yes, I'm gonna look for more shoes. 
but I also am just going to stop here for a bit. Um, we're not going to stop the episode, but we're going to stop and get some rest. Because we've been doing a lot of full tilt sprinting. Which is great. It's nice and intense. And uh, really brings out the survival aspects of the long dark. But it's also very tiring. And we need to sleep on a regular basis. But we're about to go through the transition zone, and there are areas, there are definitely going to be stretches where we need to worry less about being mauled by the bear. So I just need to have my energy stocked and ready to go. And of course, still no shoes. Just looking under the beds for any potential military-grade MREs. Not that we really need them, we've got plenty of supplies. Alright, now... We're not, we're actually not that tired, uh, all things considered. Let's, um, we're not even that wanting in terms of our, our needs here, but let's, uh, we're not wanting in terms of our needs. That, that's a great sentence, Hadrian, appreciate that. Um, you know what I meant, though, we're, we're just not, we're not lacking. So, it actually, in terms of the long dark, was a completely sensible sentence. Uh, let's go ahead and pass the time for five hours. So this is going to warm us up. Our condition's at 100%, which is great, because if we get attacked by a bear again... <laughs> okay. If we get attacked by a bear again, um, we can generally survive. Alright, there's that, and... I need to drink one more, don't I? Let's go ahead and drink that one. I'm loving getting rid of these sodas. Again, it's not something I will complain about. Okay, we actually shouldn't have drank that one just then because it didn't really help our thirst that much. Five hours darkness left. Perfect. Let's sleep for six. Should be able to rest through the night. We might wake up at the five hour mark, but that's fine. Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, we woke up just shy of the six-hour mark, but that's, again, that's that's just fine. Uh, let's go ahead and drink this, just getting rid of these sodas, and replenishing our hunger meter a little bit, too. I do feel like, I hate to say this, but I feel like that is one thing, the calorie value of sodas is one thing that could get tweaked uh, in the long dark going forward, because 250 calories, I mean, if you have enough sodas... You can live... Hey, there was a woodpecker. Did you hear that? On a metal chimney. Um, in Against All Odds Season 1, I heard those noises and thought it was a bug. But anyway. In Against All Odds Season 1, I... Um, no, what was I saying? Oh yeah, if you get enough sodas... Hang on, let's check this dead guy real quick. If you get enough sodas, you can literally live on them. Which is not exactly realistic. So... Okay, bear's not here. Oh, that's brandish. Okay, still don't know how to use a torch, evidently. There we go. So you, you can you, you can literally live off of, like, if you have a, a bunch of sodas. They'll, they'll replenish your calorie meter for an entire day. I feel like 150 calories is probably a more realistic calorie amount to put in a soda. For that reason. You might hate me for suggesting that, because it can be nice to live off of soda, because it's, a, it's an item that will replenish both your thirst and and your hunger, but I mean, when you think about it, it's like, uh, they do go for realism in this game. And, and I've, I have talked in the past about how you need a balance of of realism and gaminess, so maybe having the sodas be, have a higher caloric value is appropriately gamey. Um, if you don't know what I'm getting at there, it just means that if you if you try and make a game too realistic, it ceases to become a game, and it might become a simulation, but... Uh, that that's a whole other thing. Like, is the long dark a game or a simulation? And there are differences between the two because you you don't necessarily play simulations for fun. You play games for fun. You play them to um, elicit feelings, to make yourself feel things. So, 
Okay, we're gonna cross this as rapidly as we can. 13 hours daylight left. We're freaking cold. Raven Falls Trestle. Oh, yay. Tension music while I'm on the bridge. That's exactly what I needed. Thank you, game. Thank you so much. I feel like that's happened the last couple of times I've been on this bridge. And yet, as I continue to give them crap for, they say that there is no... That there are no music-related... Uh, that there are no uh, moment-related music cues in the Long Dark. So things that are happening or situations you find yourself in don't cue certain music. Now, certain environments have certain uh, pieces playing. So you'll, you might hear the creepier music in the Carter Hydro Dam, or you might hear the creepier music in the... Um, words come to me. You might hear the creepier music in the... Uh, caves or the mines as we've seen but many many times i joke about this starting to feel numb yeah she, that's, we're we're pretty cold we might have to start a fire actually before we fully leave this zone many many times um you will be in a certain situation and all of a sudden a certain track will start playing it at seemingly just the right moment and I just I can't help but shake my head a little bit I do believe joking aside I do believe that there are no contextual music cues in the lawn dark if Raphael says it he means it but it's funny sometimes the extent to which music will pop in right when things are really tense all right, now, this is a situation where I'm not sure if I'll run into the bear or not. This is... We're, we're entering a part of the transition zone here that's more wide open. Yeah, I need a light of fire. The reason I say this is there's a cave over here that I can that I can pop over to and, and be inside and generally be warmer. Do I have my bedroll? Yes, I do have my bedroll. <laughs> that's a good thing to remember. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna come over to the cave here. Seems like the exact opposite. Hey bunny. Of what you would wanna do in this situation. See there's some food as well. I knew it'd be here. And some firewood, which I can use for the fire. All right. Now, if we... This is the handy thing, too. This this will give us... If the bear does somehow come in here, having the fire going is a nice way to keep the bear at bay. All right, so let's start a fire with... a book, once again. That's why we picked up the books. That's why we need them. We just need to warm up for a second. The fact that... We're in this bad of a way, warmth-wise, is bad. <laughs> the fact that this that things are this bad is bad. <laughs> Point being, we are a little bit too far away from any environments in Mystery Lake where we could stop and warm up um, for my comfort. So we are going to take a second to warm up. All right, let's add some firewood here. Tell you what we can also do. We can heat up. We can get some snow out of this fire. Yeah, I don't think I don't think the bear comes here. I really don't. 
Now that I've said this, the bear's going to show up and maul me. But if I stay on the other side of this fire, the bear shouldn't approach me. And we're getting some additional water out of this deal, so that's good. Let's, um... Let's make some coffee. Keep our energy level high. Alright, so there's that. Now, what else am I carrying that's too heavy still? Um, it's the water now, mainly. And I can drop one piece of that fur firewood. Okay, so now we're warmed up, and we've got some coffee in us. So we had a warm drink plus coffee, so two of our meters are being helped out there, as you can see. I'm going to step back out, and we're going to keep moving. Of course, there's wind blowing right now. I've joked in the past, playing the Lawn Dark, about how wind always seems to start blowing in the opposite direction you need it to at just the right moment. But uh, we've hit the 26-minute mark for this episode, so I guess I'll go ahead and stop this one here. And then I think it's pretty clear what we got to do in the next one. We, If I'm lucky, Mystery Lake is not a big zone. So if I'm lucky... We might beat the challenge in the next episode, which would make it exactly five episodes finishing The Hunted Part 1. So that's exciting. Um, I might even push it to where I just do it in one episode, even if it's not in 25 minutes, because I feel like I can make it. I mean, aside from if I get attacked, if I have to stop and nurse any wounds, that's a different story. All right, I don't need to go there. But uh, other than that, I feel like I'm in actually I'm in pretty good shape. So... Uh, so yeah, next episode we could very well beat the challenge, assuming the bear doesn't kill us. And then we're going to turn around and do the hunted part two and hunt down the bear, which would be nice and fun. So thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along if you're not subscribed already. I upload new episodes in the hunted challenge every day at 6 Eastern Standard Time, which is GMT minus 5 for those of you not in the States. And comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you huh, next episode. <laughs>